Hey everyone, I'm a little, uh, a little down, a little, feel a little, a little dejected after Jesse's last joke. I'm trying to get pumped. I'm trying to, okay, okay. okay. If, you, if you want to see that, second video, gotta go back to second the video, video. The first video. It was terrible. <laughs> All right, uh, this is video two in our overview of Secure Act 2.0. Oh, 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 oh. Very exciting stuff. This one actually is pretty cool, mm -hmm. I will have to say. Lots of good stuff on the horizon. So, three topics here. One, we want to talk about new types of Roth savings vehicles that are now available. Uh, second, we want to talk about some cool opportunities for those of us with student loan payments to have some employer matching funds going towards that amount. And third, um, a new way to fund a beneficiary's uh, Roth IRA through overfunding or not using all the funds in a 529 plan. Interesting stuff. So first off, did you know that now you can use a simple or a SEP Roth IRA, whereas before you could only use a simple retirement account, which is again available to um, small business owners typically, people like that, um, and SEP IRAs, again, different nuances to the types, but they used to only be available as a traditional uh, pre-tax, kind of like a traditional IRA. Well, now you can do the Roth equivalent, which is awesome. We're big fans of Roths if you're able to uh, be under those income limits. So that's awesome. Um, not much else to Let say me qualify. That. We're big fans of Roths for the right person. True. We, True. We, we want to talk through that with you. Oh, Yes, true. Hey, man, we got to make sure that we can put this video out. Uh, yeah, that's fair, fair, fair. Listen to this guy. <laughs> so we love Ross. We do for the right person. I think they're excellent. Um, and, you know, just in case you um, didn't hear it, Ross are awesome for after-tax uh, savings, and they came out tax-free in retirement um, when you can access them. They're awesome. So what else has changed? Well, number one, um, these we're going to lump this in Roths. You can now take 529 money that you maybe accidentally overfunded um, or just happen to not be used because uh, you have a smart grandkid or child getting a scholarship. And up to $35,000 um, of a 529 plan can now be converted or rolled over into a Roth. That is amazing. Now, there are some stipulations on that. You can only do up to the Roth contributions in a given year. Um, so if you, it's 6,500 right now. Uh, if you're under 50, then you can only do 6,500 of the 35,000. Uh, and the lifetime really is at 35,000. But we love that um, because then it makes you have a little more freedom um, to fund that 529 for education. Um, and the other thing that's really cool, speaking of the 529 plans, not quite Roth worthy, um, it's not quite in the Roth category, it's the best place to put it here, is now employers are allowed um, to uh, pay or give it credited back to your uh, paycheck for your student loans as long as they're a qualified payment. Okay, so we love that. So I think because the job market's super competitive, We've got employers now can come and say, hey, we can actually make your student loan payments or credit back that dollar to you. So we love that. Now, a couple of things you want to know about that is, number one, you've got to have a qualified payment. So if it's after 15 days, uh, they're not going to say that wasn't qualified. Or if you're in forbearance or in the grace period, uh, that's not going to work either. So I would say go check with your HR department. See if they're going to be doing that for you. And if they are, take advantage of it. Um, so, yeah. Hey, Robert, again, thanks for your time. Absolutely. Thanks for bashing my joke. Absolutely. I'm here for you. And, hey, this was Tasty Information. What a piece of tasty advice. <laughs>